Hey YouTube. So I've, I've received a couple of requests over the past few months on uh, doing a video covering motor replacement on the WL Toys V686G. Um, if you're here watching this video, you're probably already aware that this thing does go through motors fairly quickly. And um, what I'm going to do today is show you how to replace one. You know, the reason I haven't done the video yet is because I haven't had a motor fail recently. And um, I actually still haven't had a motor fail, but what I did have happen is my positive battery lead came off the board um, internally. So what I'm going to do also in this video is re-solder this to the board and I'm going to show you how to hot glue uh, the wire down to kind of give it a strain relief to prevent this from happening again. Um, and if you are doing a motor replacement, it probably would be a good idea to do this at the same time because this is definitely another weak point in the quadcopter. So the only real tool you're gonna need for this project is a small Phillips head screwdriver. And I'm using the one that came with my Tarantula X6. Other than that, the only other thing I would recommend is a small dish or a uh, magnetic tray to put your screws in so you don't lose them. Uh, and really that's it. So first thing we're gonna need to do is pull these props off. And I usually recommend remembering which end was forward and taking the props off one at a time and laying them down in the same positions that you took them off in. Um, if you do take them off and, and get them mixed up, it's really not a big deal because the bottom of the props, let's see if we get this to focus here. This is a B prop right here. So there's B props and there's A props. And it's easy to remember that the B props go on the right front and the left rear and the A-props go on the left front and the right rear. So as long as you remember that, you'll be just fine. So to take the props off, you're simply going to take this small screw right here off the front of the prop, or off the side of the prop, I should say. Put the, the screw in your tray, pull the prop off, and then you can simply take the shaft, this carbon shaft here that holds the gear, and push it down out of the body. And sometimes what I found is that these little bearings, get the focus, there's bearings, there's one here and one here that the shaft rides on. Sometimes those will push out with the shaft. It's really not a big deal. You just go ahead, pull them off the shaft, and then just press them back into the body with your fingers. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of these props off and I'll come back to you when we get to the, ne the next step. Now that your props are off, you're gonna wanna go ahead, flip the quad over, unplug your camera, and then slide the camera to the rear of the quadcopter to remove it. Once the camera's removed, we're gonna wanna take all of the screws out of the bottom of the shell and pull the shell apart. So there's a total of 18 screws on the bottom of this quadcopter. You're gonna have four in each arm, you have one here, two, three, four, so four in each arm, and then one, two, right here on the bottom of the body. So you're gonna wanna just go ahead and take all these screws out, and I'll go ahead and take these out off camera because I don't think you wanna watch me take 60, uh, 18 screws out, and we'll be right back. And once all your screws are removed, just simply open up your battery door, and just kinda work your way around the body, and just gently Pull it apart. And mine I gotta be extra careful with because I did I do have a crack in the body right there. I don't wanna make it any worse. Let's go ahead and pull it apart like that. And we're in. And literally that's the hardest part. The hardest part's over. Now it's just a matter of plugging the motor in and putting it back together. And now with the upper shell off, you can see what I mean by the motors being plug and play. Literally, here's the motor here, and you can follow the black and white wires right to this plug. And the new motor, you just unplug the old motor, push the motor up from the bottom, pull it out of its holder, and there it is. And you'll just simply take the new motor. Like I said, I don't have a motor failure right now, so I'm just going to put this right back in. Your new motor would just push right into the place. You want to make sure the wire is tucked up alongside the LED here and doesn't get pinched anywhere in the body. And you'll just simply 
plug it right back in. So simple as that. Super easy project. Like I said, if you haven't done one before, it might be a little intimidating. But the fact that they're plug and play, there's no soldering involved, it's just time consuming. You know, it's a matter of taking the props off and then 18 screws. So that's really the hardest part is taking the screws out. Now, before we move away from the motors, um, I do want to mention one important thing. And that is if you take a black and white motor out, a black and white wire motor has to go back in. Same thing with the red and blue ones. What that's indicating is clockwise and counterclockwise motor rotation. And the motors are actually um, assembled differently internally based on which direction they spin. So there's a pair of brushes, um, kind of like my fingers here, that go against the inner core of the motor. And if you take a counterclockwise motor and you put it in a clockwise position, it's going to want to jam the brushes up like that and it's going to destroy the motor really fast. So just make certain that you put the right rotation motor back where it belongs to, you know, these things fail fast as they are. They fail extra fast when you put the motors in the wrong spot. So now, like I said, the reason I ultimately opened this up was to fix this positive battery cable and try to prevent it from, from coming apart again. And the reason this happens is you can see here it's soldered directly to the board and then there's no you know it just flexes right there so when you unplug and tuck it in and then pull it back out and then tuck it in it's constantly flexing right there and you can see all these frayed wires here on the negative cable there's only a couple of strands holding the negative cable on too so what I'm gonna do uh, I'll do it off camera is I'm just gonna desolder the negative cable clean these pads up Resolder this cable on and then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the hot glue to try to prevent this from happening again So just to show you I've gone ahead and I've resoldered these onto the Board here and I ran them both to the left side of the quadcopter and What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue right over here and that way There'll be a strain relief so it's not pulling directly on the solder joints and in turn flexing the cable um, you know, it'll be pulling on where it has insulation on it and it'll be a little stronger and it won't be as likely to break. So again, I'm just going to go ahead and do this off camera because my hands are going to be in the way and um, I'll show you the finished product and we'll put it back together. So that's it. I just put a nice big helping of hot glue on there. A um, little more than I expected. It came out a little fast, but um, it's doing the trick and it's giving us a nice strain relief there and hopefully I won't have to go back in and fix that cable again. So. Definitely, if you're going in there to replace a motor um, and you have a hot glue gun, I would suggest just gluing down the battery cable just to prevent a future failure. And this one lasted, I think I got this quadcopter about eight months ago. And, you know, I, I've used it pretty regularly, so it lasted quite a while, but it's definitely going to be a, a point of failure. So if you have it apart, definitely a good idea to just do that and get it done. And um, really all you have to do now is reverse the process. Um, go ahead and put your shell back on, screw it back together, put your props on, and, and you're ready to fly. Um, the only thing you want to pay attention to when you put it back together is you just want to make sure that all your cables for the motors are just tucked down in these little valleys. And they're not going to get pinched when you put it back together. Other than that, pretty straightforward process. I hope this video was helpful to someone. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any other suggestions for videos, uh, any kind of other uh, quadcopter repair videos or anything you might have questions about, please let me know and if I can, I'll, I'll get it done. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Definitely leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.